All right, guys, welcome back to another session, uh, segment of VG Sports Hub. So um, we just talked about uh, the national championship last night, and that putting to a close, uh, that putting a close to college basketball. But now we have an opening to the MLB. Uh, yesterday, actually Sunday, was really the first official game of the 2015 season in the MLB with the St. Louis. Cardinals taking on the Chicago Cubs, St. Louis winning 3-0 that night. Um, but then for the rest of the league, they opened up yesterday, uh, and specifically us in here, the G-Shocker and I are huge Yankee fans, and also we have the luxury of having a <laughs> spectator of the game who I was did at spectate. the game yesterday in the bleachers who now has sunburn because of it. <laughs> But he's a diehard fan, so I guess you can say that that was acceptable. Oh, so, it was definitely. But, unfortunately, the uh, New York Yankees took a loss in their first game to the Toronto Blue Jays 6-1, to where um, Masahiro Tanaka had his first loss, four innings pitched, uh, gave up five er- uh, four earned runs, um, you know, um, not really hitting his fastball, uh, not really on point with his fastball. Toronto kept hitting that the entire day. Uh, he also admitted that in the post-game conference. Uh, I saw that. Um, on the other side, Drew Hutchinson. Great game uh, for him. Yeah. Six innings pitch, three hits, one earned run. Uh, definitely was getting the ball down the plate. Uh, nobody could really do anything with him. Nope. Not at all. Uh, no hitting down the line, really. Uh only person that I must say, ironically, yep. who now... At I'll this point this out in a few. You go ahead and mention his name. All right. Well, currently, the <laughs> leading batting average on the New York Yankees right now, I mean, I know it's early, but is ironically Alex Rodriguez, who uh, was the designated hitter yesterday. He went one for two with a walk, and, um, you know, this... Heard a standing ovation, but I want to get Gio because he was there. I just heard it on TV, but I want to hear what really was going on. So yeah, so um, I'll just get to the Rodriguez part first. First of all, he batted seventh in the lineup. Right. We knew this was going to happen. He, he took steroids. Listen, it just happens. I mean, he got caught. You got to accept that he's not a cleanup hitter anymore. You know, he's not going to produce anymore. He's, what, 39? Almost 40? Yeah. And he's, he's dropping production anyway, so you have to bat him. You know, um, lower in the order, but he did. He did have a good spring. Four homers, a couple RBIs. He he hit well. Um, so yes, it with that ovation you heard in when he hit that single. Literally, that was the best moment in the game besides a home run. Like it's that it was that bad yesterday for the Yankees. When he hit that single, everyone went nuts as if it was we won the championship. Like it was it was just really everyone got excited. We finally got a hit. We had three hits all game long. Yeah. You know, we didn't play well, um, but. Well, you know, when he first came up, there was more cheers and boos. I can tell you that. I guess a lot of the New Yorkers are pulling for him. If he's going to be on the team, you can't boo him. I mean, you you want him to play well. Nah, yeah, and you're paying him too. You're, you're paying him what twenty seven million dollars. I mean, you can boo him all you want, but if he doesn't play well, you're going to lose. And and we, he's about to get a bonus in a little exactly, while. Exactly, if he hits a few homers. So we yeah. need him to play well. Um, but go to going to Tanaka in the first few innings, he was he's pretty filthy. Just like the first two innings before that third inning that he really gave up those five runs. Mm-hmm. His his splitter was working. All his all his um all speed pitches were working, and then all of a sudden, just like you said, his fastball he didn't really have a lot of control over it, and hitters started hitting him hard with it. And I think it was Encarnacion who had uh hit two run shot. Yeah. Um. You know we had an error. I think it was by by Headley, if I'm not mistaken. Um. And it just went downhill. Also after that, yeah, he didn't give up any runs. He only pitched four innings. Um. He didn't give up runs in the fourth, but. He really got in trouble with um, the, the the hitters really paying attention to his off speed pitches. Like the first few innings, they they chased it, but then after that, they were patient. No one was swinging at anything anymore. He gave up two two walks. He did strike out six, but they just got really patient. And then Drew Hutchinson, uh, you know, he just had a great game. Uh, he he was nasty. He gave up three hits, just three hits, one earned run off a homer. That was a line drive home run. Uh, he didn't. Gardner. Sh- yeah, Gardner, the least expected to hit a home run out of everyone in that lineup. Right. Um, which was also the best moment. That was the best moment of the game for us Yankee fans. But uh, a lot of fans were upset because opening day, you don't want to lose to the Blue Jays in the yeah. division, 6-1. to one. But, hey, I'm, I'm just going to say the experience was, was fun. It's always nice to be at opening day. Before the game, I mean, before we were losing, 
It was a good, you know, good atmosphere. So, yeah. well, you know. now we got our ace of the staff with a 9.00 even yeah. ERA. Terrible. Um, so now we got to rely on CC, who's kind of washed up. Yeah, I'll actually be at CC's first start on Wednesday See, night. We got two I members mean, night. of I'm VG sorry. Sports Hub heading to these games. Yeah. We are live scouts. We need to be out there. We need to be out there. You know so, it. This is huge for us. Oh, uh, it's definitely huge. So for next week, I'll have full uh, recap on how CC does. He's moved down now to third I'm in the rotation. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. yeah. We have CC. Uh, I don't know if you followed Ivaldi. We traded for him from the Marlins. But he's okay. he's filthy. I mean, he's he throws really hard, but his mechanics got he need a little work. And then we have Pineda. Pineda last year was great, besides the tar thing. But um, we'll, um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, he's gonna be getting the start tomorrow night. Right. So he's the second. Um. So then, we like to talk New York in here because this is most relevant to us. Of We're course. gonna jump over to the other team, who. We could be looking at a, a good team this year, I think. A pretty good team. Yeah, playoff uh, contention, it could happen. They could get into the playoffs. New York Post Mets yep. taking on Washington Nationals um, in Washington. That game was at 4 p.m. Um, where Max Scherzer had his first uh, debut in um, a Washington uniform. Uh, the guy pitched great. Uh, this game was on ESPN. I watched, I caught some of it, and he just was on his game as always. Uh Seven and two third innings, only four hits, uh, zero earned runs. All of the runs didn't come off him, uh, which is why he still ended up taking the loss. However, so um, he's zero and one now. The defense kind of let him down. F- yeah. two errors for them. So, uh, not too bad of an outing from Bartolo Colon either for the New York Mets. Uh, six innings pitched, three hits, one earned run, on uh, eight Ks for both pitchers. By the way. Yep. And um. Yeah, uh, Lucas Duda uh, getting it done in the top of the sixth with a uh, scoring David Wright and uh, Granderson in, getting in two runs. And uh, another triple late in the, the top of the seventh for the Mets also, uh, scoring Lagares uh, where all their three runs. And then uh, Bryce Harper hitting a home run. In just the bottom of the fourth inning, given the only run for the Nationals. So, um, you know, um, most people are obviously already starting to talk. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yankees versus Mets. Yankees versus Mets. Right, of course. Um, this New York Mets team, I think, has definitely tried to build over these last couple of years. Um, I yeah. give them credit. And they've done a good job. Yeah. To I be think honest. they've come a long way with everything. Uh, I love their lineup with offense. Going down the line, starting with Granderson on top, who was a former Yankee. I didn't want to see him go, but... Yeah, a guy who can hit 30-plus home runs for you. Exactly. You know? Uh, David Wright, not even batting fourth anymore. Yesterday, he batted second. Uh, Lucas Duda in third spot. Kadire in cleanup. Yeah, great hitter all the time, always. Daniel Murphy after him. Lagares, uh, new catcher, Armwad. I don't yeah. really... Um, Darnod or Darnod, something yeah. like that. Um, and then Flores, at shortstop to round it out. But more or less, great lineup for the Mets. Yeah, solid lineup. Better than anything they've had in the past few years, to yeah. be honest. Um, I think they just have to watch out for Bartolo Colon with his injury-prone uh, self. He is old now. He's getting yep. old. He's aging. Um, and also, he does have his sprouts where he does end up uh, getting rocked. For a few games yep. straight. We saw him on the Yankees a few years ago. So we remember that as yeah. well. Let and him do that over there. Yeah. The Mets can have him there. Yeah. But uh, just let me mention, you you mentioned you like their lineup. I like their rotation a lot. Um, if Cologne stays healthy, you know, he can give them five to six innings. Yeah, you know, definitely. decent. And he can still strike people out. Uh, we saw him get eight Ks. Then we have DeGrom. I think he was a starter. Uh, yeah, Jacob DeGrom. Is. Young yeah, guy. I think he was, was he National League Rookie of the Year last year? Um, I'm not sure about I'm not sure about yeah. that, but he was huge. I mean, he's going to be huge for them. I think he's a young talent. He's going to be really good. Matt Harvey coming back from Tommy John. Right. Everyone is waiting for this guy to pitch. You know, in a, an official game. His spring was good. We saw him. I I was watching a game and he hit like 98 miles per hour. You know, his vol his yeah. velocity still there. We still haven't seen him fully. Yeah, yet. we still exactly. So there's a lot of good things for the, for these Mets right now. So you know. 
as a New York person, you want to see them do well. Maybe not us Yankee fans because you know we want to win. But hey, if they can if they can get to the postseason, that's a huge accomplishment for them. Yeah, well, the righty Degrom, as you said, he's gonna get the start tomorrow night. Uh, both Yankees and Mets off today. Um, he'll get the start tomorrow against the Nationals again. They're in a three-game series as well as the Yankees with the Toronto Blue Toronto. Jays. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, um, that'll do it for MLB. We're we're gonna have you covered with the rest of uh, MLB. We'll get into next week, but we just wanted to hit you off with uh, the Yankees and the Mets, the most relevant to us here at Iona. And um, yeah, so we're gonna take another short break, and when we come back from that. We're going to get you guys started with NBA now. Now we're getting into heated uh, seed races and playoffs around the corner yep. and uh, a return from Mr. Paul George, a potential return from Mr. Derek Rose. Uh, me and Gio were talking about earlier in the year how Rose were, you know, we feel bad for him and now he could possibly even be coming back and help his team in the playoffs. So just we'll take a short break. Don't go anywhere and uh, we'll be right back. Thank you.